The occurrence of devastating pandemics, including SARS and H1N1, is rising in number, and these diseases have serious public health and economic consequences. This year, ASEAN countries agreed to strengthen their preparedness for pandemic through multilateral collab collaboration. More in this report. Back in 2009 and 2010, three waves of the H1N1 flu epidemic struck Thailand, infecting 10 to 18 percent of the population, clinging 400 lives. It not only disrupted the delivery of some essential public services, but also triggered fear among the population and burdened the health care system. Our experience with the flu pandemic reminded us all of the possibility that the unexpected could suddenly occur. The 17th ASEAN Summit in 2010 collectively stressed the need to continue strengthening pandemic preparedness and response efforts as called for in the blueprint of the ASEAN Sociocultural Community 2015. Director of the Thai Bureau of Epidemiology says ASEAN countries agree on a new five-year pandemic preparedness plan based on multilateral collaboration. So this exchange information and exchange the uh, technical collaboration is the key point for the preparedness. The new plan entails the development of human resources. Through workshops, ASEAN will train epidemiologists and expand the reach of the surveillance and response teams. The aim is to contain an outbreak and to establish an early warning system. When people come together, but like epidemiologists, like laboratory technicians, like the public health officer, they form a network because they know each other. Okay. So when they form the networks, they can exchange information at the grassroots level. ASEAN will also strengthen mechanisms that facilitate the exchange of information and technology, for instance, the Mekong Basin Disease Surveillance or the MBDS. Under the framework of ASEAN and ASEAN Plus 3, the MBDS aims not only to strengthen core capacities in disease surveillance, but to share information for the development of health and social policy. As pandemics become more severe, coordination must be broadened to mitigate the direct and indirect impact on human health. ASEAN must commit to its multilateral approach by strengthening partnerships with international agencies such as the World Health Organization and the United Nations and must prepare for worst-case scenarios in order to mitigate massive losses in the event of a severe pandemic. I'm Akanit Wijianjaron of Thai News Agency, ASEAN TV. And that's it for this edition of ASEAN TV News Bulletin. Thanks for watching us. Do stay tuned for the latest currency exchange rates and the prices of gold and oil from around the world. I'm Panu Wong Shi Um. Bye for now and Swadi Krab.